Good morning, tubes. Oh, let's get some uh, light in here. There we go. I uh, hope everyone's safe and hope you've enjoyed your lockdown. Uh, I know I haven't. The only thing that's changed in during this duration is this. I'm just getting quite long there. Um, right, we're lockdown easy, and I thought it's about time we get back on to making videos. So, what we're going on today? It's the start of a new project, and yeah, you're going to guess. Your three guesses, you'd know what is going to happen. So, uh, I will show you what's happening now. Uh, this is a ME221, obviously, let's just zoom out of it, um, for a Mazda Miata, or MX-5 as we know here here in the UK. So, yes, and I'll just show you, you kind of know what these look like, we did Gregor's a while back, didn't we, a couple of years ago. Um, this is actually a version 2, so unlike what's in the MGB GT and in Gregor's uh, NB MX-5, this is the newer version, which is I think over a year old now, this type. Um, the only serviceable difference is I think this can go on a higher firmware. I think the uh, map sensor is of a higher type. And uh, certainly the major difference is, which is fantastic, is it's USB, not serial. Um, because those serial cables are a pain in the bum. Um, should we get it out of the bag? There we go. There she is in all her beauty. I'm used to the Blackboard, the Revision 1, and I've had that since I was one of the early adopters when they first brought them out and they were um, from MX-5 Nuts. I was one of the first ones with that first batch. So, And then obviously Gregor got his. I've helped with a few more installs. But anyway, so that's the ECU. So that's going to be the job for today. We're going to put this in the car. There was, surprise, surprise, no real guesses for what this was going to be. We have the turbo. Yes, it is going turbo. Um, I was going to go supercharged, but to be honest, I'm, I've done the supercharged route and I prefer the turbo route. What we have here is a brand new cast, which is a similar design to the um, BBR style, I believe, or HKS style. It used to come on MX-5s back in the day. So have the same turbo as what is on the BGT, which is a Saab Vigin. I'll zoom back out because my hand's really big. A Saab Vigin. Um, it is a or oh, TDO4 15T. So obviously this is all Saab. These are all Saab. They'll be going. Um, so yeah, that is going to be going on the MX-5. There's a few things I need to get still. I need to get into cooler. I need to get the pipe work. I need all the drains and everything for this. Obviously the engine needs to come out. But obviously I'm just collecting most of the parts. We also have... don't know whether I'm using it yet. It just came with a kit. We also have... Move that box. A wastegate. So this is it came with the with the actual manifold. And I'll try and show you what the person was trying to do. Um, move my hand. They were going to weld the um, wastegate to there, so that's why they have the flat side, which is quite neat, really, because it's quite sticking out that side. And there's loads of room on the MX-5 just there, so that was his idea. Whether I'm going to do that, so yeah. But anyway, first things first, we're going to get that ECU in the car. If you choose to fit a variable TPS, set both dip switches on the board to the on position. Uh, remove the ST sign fuse from the driver's side. Out. This won't stop us getting the car running, so let's disconnect the battery, the negative on the battery. Here she is, one is the your my uh, end. There she is in all her uh, 8-bit glory. Okay, ta-da! Stickers. Yeah. One of them I've got an ECUK to them come on the back of the car. 
Right, back to line. Bluetooth mount. Bluetooth mount. <laughs> it works. Does it rev? That's the question. Does it rev? It's a bit of adjustment. So there we go. She's running. It's not really perfect. It does stumble a bit, but it is running. Um, if I've got anything long enough to press the accelerator. Oh, I've got this. If you can get the accelerator, you can hear it. It does stumble a bit. It's not bad, but bear in mind, I'm not running a TPS, a VTPS. That's not bad at all. So, that's the initial configuration and install done. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.